Hello friends, today we will know why limits and tolerance given to the job and basic terms used in limit system. Number 1 limits, upper limit and lower limit. Number 2 tolerance. Dimensional tolerance and geometrical tolerance. Again dimensional tolerance classified into unilateral and bilateral tolerance. We will discuss it later in upcoming videos. Number 3 is basic size and zero line. Number 4 is actual size and fifth is fifth whole basis limit system, sharp basis limit system, Indian standard system of limits and fits. We will discuss it later in upcoming video. If you would like this video, subscribe and hit like button. Why limits and tolerance given to the job? Because it is difficult to manufacture a job of exact size as accuracy of job dimension depends on machine, man and material and all these three factors are cost dependent. In order to improve job accuracy we will have to improve machine, man and material quality. So cost of manufacturing will increase Hence, in order to optimize the manufacturing cost, which depends on 3Ms, job is manufactured within acceptable extreme limits without affecting its purpose. Note it, without affecting its purpose. Maximum acceptable extreme size is known as upper limit and minimum acceptable extreme size is known as lower limit. Example. We have to manufacture a sharp top diameter 50 mm, but to manufacture the exact dimension cost will increase. For cost reduction, we will have to give some margin. Think if size is more than 50, but in our case it will not go in whole. So will serve the purpose? No. Hence, acceptable maximum upper size will be 50 mm, that is upper limit. And suppose to carry the design load, sharp diameter can be reduced by 0.050 mm. Hence, acceptable minimum lower size will be 49.950. It is lower limit. The total margin given is the difference between maximum and minimum size. The difference between upper limit and lower limit is known as tolerance. Here, this tolerance is indicated by green zone. Tolerance is given to optimize the cost without affecting the purpose of job. Basic size. It is size of the job which is taken as reference to apply maximum limit and minimum limit for job manufacturing. Example, diameter 50 mm is taken as basic size as shown in figure and upper deviation is 0, 0.00 hence maximum acceptable size is 50 plus 0, 0.00 it is nothing but the upper limit and lower deviation is minus 0, 0.050 hence minimum acceptable size is 50 minus 0, 0.050 it is nothing but lower limit zero line Deviation from basic size are measured with respect to a line called zero line. It represents zero deviation to basic size. Above zero line, positive deviation and below zero line, negative deviation. You can see lower deviation is below zero line as lower deviation is negative. And upper deviation is positive and it is zero zero hence it coincides with zero line. Actual size. Once the finished product is ready, the dimension obtained by measuring the finished product is known as actual size of the job. Actual size must lie on or between upper limit and lower limit. Here in this figure you can see the finished product is in between upper limit and lower limit. But it may lie on upper limit or may lie on lower limit. So friends, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit 